Hi my dear fitness friends, welcome to a full body weekend workout. For this workout I will be using my barbell, my dumbbells, and my kettlebells. I'll also be using a plyo box for some decline moves. Um, there's a lot of different varieties in this workout. There's a lot of format changes. It's going to be fast and fun and effective. It's going to leave your whole body worked and there is no dread factor, okay? So I am going to throw in a two minute warm up. If you need more than that, as always, push pause and get that done. If not, join me on the mat for that in just a minute. I'll see you there. All right, guys, I am ready to hit start on this two minute warm up. We are going to do a walkout into a push-up and then into a runner's lunge stretch. We're gonna pair that with pop squats. Start both my timers here. And you have a 10 second countdown on. So stand up tall at the end of your mat, take a nice deep inhale. Raise your arms up above your head, forward fold, all the way down. Just get that nice hamstring stretch. Walk it out, get your first push-up of the day, get all the creaks and cracks out, step into that runner's lunge, and stretch, open it up. Make it bigger. Make that stretch count. That's gonna do your 20 seconds. As always, in your 10 seconds, pay attention to how your body feels, work out what needs a little bit more attention, and put your mind in the right place. You are here, you are in the present. Your mind and body are connected. Allow your mind just to focus on what it needs to make your body do today. If this is a weekend for you, it is not for me right now. If this is a weekend workout for you, allow yourself to feel present and not guilty for giving yourself this time Time is a precious commodity. You are using it to fuel and fill up yourself right now. Pulling in all the good energy, all the good vibes. Complimenting yourself. Feeling big, feeling full. That's what it's all about. The world is not going to wait for us. We're taking this time for ourselves so that when we go back out into that world, we are more compassionate, we are more kind, we are more ready to face things head on. So that being said, we're going to get started right away. We have a nine minute, as many rounds as possible. I'm going to rotate through equipment for this little complex that we're doing. I'm gonna start with my barbell, I'm gonna to go to my kettlebell, and then I'm gonna to go to my dumbbells. So setting myself up for success here, I have my barbell right here. I'm gonna go with my 60 pound kettlebell in the middle, and then two 25 pound dumbbells. Wait, right, oops, that's a 30. Two 25 pound dumbbells at the end of my mat. Our move, our complex that we are doing is one ninja jump, two power cleans, one squat and press, two deadlifts, and one hang clean. After you finish that, you move to the next piece of equipment, okay? This is as many rounds as possible. You go through that, cycling through your equipment as many times as you can. I'm gonna have it beep every minute on the minute just to let us know. It might work out so that it feels like an every minute on the minute, but it might not. I'm not sure. Let's just do it, give it what we got. Three. Give it your attention, One. give it your nine minutes. Start with that ninja to your feet. Make sure the bar is right below you. Two power cleans. One. Two. One squat and press. Use the momentum. Shoot that weight up above you. Two deadlifts. One. Two. One hang clean. Get it underneath that weight. Stand tall. Set it down. Maybe move it a little out of your way. Onto the kettlebell. Get back behind it for your ninja jump. Two 
two power cleans, one, two, one squat and press, two deadlifts, one, two, one hang clean, that's one minute down already, drop it, dumbbells, sit them out in front of you, get that ninja, Bring them back right to front of your legs. Two power cleans. One. Two. One squat and press. Two deadlifts. One. Two. One hang clean. Nice work. Set it down. Back to your barbell. Get your ninja first. Bring that barbell right in front of you. Two power cleans. Make sure your other equipment's out of the way. Take the time. Squat and press. Two deadlifts. Keep your form tight. One hand clean. Sit it down. Onto the kettlebell. Get your ninja. Two power cleans. One. Two. Squat and press. Deadlift. Deadlift, hang clean. Nice work. Dumbbells, one ninja, two power cleans, squat and press, two deadlifts. One hand clean. Nice work. Back to your barbell. Give the time to make sure your equipment is where it needs to be so that you can successfully move through the set. One ninja. Two power cleans. One. Two. Squat and press. Two deadlifts. One. Two. One hand clean. Drop it down. You are more than halfway. One ninja. Two power cleans. Squat and press. Deadlifts. Hang clean. This is as many rounds as possible. You might be on your own count at this point. Don't let this cell break you down. If you're outworking yourself, you won. Squat and press. If you haven't lost your breath yet, what are you waiting for? Challenge yourself. Push yourself. You're only going to win here. These are all powerful, full body movements. Ninja. Power cleans. Squat and press. Deadlifts. 
hankering. Take notice how each equipment change brings a different challenge and how your body can adapt and move to support that challenge. Power clean. Squat and press. Deadlift. Hang clean. Take a moment to be like, I am killing this. I am working my way hard through these reps. I am using my body in a powerful way. Two deadlifts. work. You're closing in on the end of it. If you need a quick drink, you get it. Back to the barbell for me. You have two minutes left. One ninja. Two power cleans. Squat and press. Deadlifts. Bar goes right up your body. Hang clean. Drop it down. Let's go kettlebell. Power cleans. One, two, squat press. Deadlift. And clean. Final minute. Nice work. You've done more in nine minutes than most people do all week. Because you're powerful. Because you make healthy choices. Because you show up to outwork. Hang clean. Drop it. That's your barbell. We work till it beeps. The very last second. Every one of these seconds is yours for the taking. Come out and get it. Drop it down. Awesome, awesome work. You showed up and started off a weekend workout like that. You know you're gonna keep up today. Okay, we have a couple supersets, or one superset to work through before we get into more hit. We're gonna do five reset swings and 10 kettlebell deadlifts. We're going to do this superset four times. So go ahead and put your dumbbells away or out of your way. And let's just get started. Reset swing. Make that dumbbell get to a full stop. I'm setting this out just so it doesn't thud as heavy when it hits. Be in control of it. Okay, let's go. Hop away from that kettlebell to start. One. Two. Three, four, five. Make that kettlebell go right between your legs. It's coming right up your body. You're not arching your back, you're squeezing your glutes at the top. Keeping that tailbone tucked under you. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Set it down. Wipe the sweat out of your eyes. Let that sweat show up to this party. That's what you came here for. Got round two coming at you. Five resets, 10 deadlifts. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Get right above that, that, that bell. 10 more deadlifts. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Set yourself up for round three. Like we said, the world does not wait for us to be ready. Sometimes you have to choose to be ready. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Ten more deadlifts. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're doing this thing. We got our fourth and final round. Let's get it. We'll move on to a pyramid of hit. Set yourself up, knowing your strength. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Ten more deadlifts. And we conquered this superset. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome job. Set it down. Okay, cruising onto a hip pyramid, starting at 20 second interval, going up to 50, going back down. We have two moves we are pairing. A burpee with two traffic director arms at the top. So push up at the bottom, front raise, lateral raise, front raise, lateral raise. We're pairing that with single, single, double, offset deadlifts, okay? So you have two dumbbells. You pick up one, set it down. Pick up the other, set it down. Pick them both up, set it down. I don't think we've ever done that before. So I'm excited for it. I'm gonna go with 30s for that. Actually, I'm gonna go 40s. I'm gonna level up today. Because while this is not a weekend for me, it is a Monday. And on Mondays, you level up. You set yourself up for the rest of the week. Okay, so I'm going with 40s for that deadlift. I'm going with 12s for the burpee traffic director arm. And I'm going to move my kettlebell right out of the way. Carefully move your equipment if you don't throw the weights around. You're bigger than that. Okay, let's get started. This is a six minute set. And you got everything you need to be successful in it. 10 second countdown is on. Starting with that burpee traffic director arm, it is a 20 second interval to start. Two, one. 
So push up. Hop it up. Front raise, lateral raise. Front raise, lateral raise. Controlling the negative, not letting gravity take that work away from you. You came here to do the work. You don't let anything or anybody take that away from you. You're earning it. Set it down. Get right in between those dumbbells. We're not pulling them in front of our legs. This is suitcase offset deadlift. 30 second interval. Single, flat back. Single, bend your knees, flat back. Double, those weights are right next to your legs. Single, single, double. Functional movement here. Keeping that core super tight, not compromising your form to protect your back. Everyday movement, using heavy weights so that you can take that with you outside of here. Full push up, chest to the mat. It is a discipline to do a full push up. Discipline is self care. This is self care. Say that to yourself. You're investing your time in yourself, in your health. If you're not saying those positive things to yourself, what are you waiting for? Practicing it, saying it, repeating it helps you believe it. We're already up to our 50 second interval, just like that. Single, single, double. I'm gonna pick up on the opposite side first this time. Make sure those weights are right next to your body. Maybe make a fist with the hand that's not holding the weight. Single. Single. Double. Lean into the work. Keep your focus. Squeeze those glutes at the top. They are firing, putting in the work for you right now. Nice. 50 second interval. Be traffic director arms. You making little puddles of sweat everywhere? You letting it drip off of you? Don't worry about it. You can clean that up later. You'll clean it up with a smile on your face knowing that you're not carrying that all that around with you anymore. The world does not need to know you carrying around all that sweat. <laughs> you can replenish with healthy, clean, clear water. What a blessing that we get to do this. stronger each time you pick up that weight. Do you need help? Huh? You did it? Good job. Home and you get interrupted, 
you best show them that you love what you're doing and face that interruption with a smile. If it's work, if it's a spouse, if it's a cat or a dog or any other pet, and you can put it off till later, you say, I'll be with you as soon as I'm done. With a smile. If it's something you need to deal with, you hit pause. That's just, you have that pause button for You deal with it. And you come back to your workout with your life together and a smile on your face ready to keep going. Just because you stop, just because you lose a sweat because of an interruption, does not mean that you can't get the work done after you've dealt with that interruption. Awesome job. That was the speediest six minutes I think I've done yet. <laughs> okay, we're going into some more rep-based supersets. That was a, I didn't have a chime at that one. <laughs> okay, four times through, kettlebell, upright row to power clean, five decline weighted burpees. Low reps, four times through, <sighs> superset. You are gonna fly through this. It's going to be over before you know it. I'm using my 12s for the decline burpee, weighted, weighted decline burpee. I'm gonna jump with my weights down low. For the upright row to power clean, I'm going to go with my 40. Pass kettlebell. Powerful moves, upright row, not a high pull. If it is a high pull, you're adding that deadlift and emotion to it. Here, we are holding the weight here, getting an upright row, bringing it down, then power cleaning, okay? <clears throat> Let's start there. You only have five reps. One. Two. You have a chance to come back and do it three more times. Five decline weighted burpees, get your chest to the mat between those weights. One. Two. I 
know. I know we're going fast. I know this is hard. I know it's the weekend. You're killing it. <laughs> Let's go. Upright row, power clean. One. Two. Come on, don't let me do this alone. Three. Four. Five. Put it away. Five deep line burpees. And you're out of this superset. One, two, three, four, five. I am right here with you. I am doing this every step of the way with you. Every rep, it's ours. Okay, our final superset in this workout. <laughs> we, all we have left after that is an imam and a ladder. So we're gonna make this count. All right, we have three man makers. Don't at me. You know you love a man maker. You know you love a man maker. Three of them, only three. And we're pairing it with four, only four, power clean to front box squats. Yes, and we're using our barbell. Okay, here is the catch. We are rotating through maker moves. We're going through this set six times. I told you it's your final super set. We're adding two more rounds. First round we'll do three man makers, second round we'll do three tricep makers, the third round we'll do three bicep makers. Then we'll go back through, man, start with man makers again, tricep makers, bicep makers. The barbell power clean to front box spot stays the same for all six rounds. However, I'm gonna give you the option if you'd like to switch out your barbell and use your kettlebell to do so, okay? I'm gonna stick with my barbell because that's how I wanna work today. But if you want to rotate equipment, that is the name of the game in this workout. Do it. Okay, we're starting with man makers, sorry. <laughs> so I'll go with 25s for my man makers. I'll use my 12s for my bicep and tricep makers. You only have three. Push up row, push up row, pop it in, swing and press. One.
set them down. Power clean the box squats. You've got four. One. Two. Three. Four. Sit down. Bicep makers for two, three. So bicep push up, palms face forward. Bicep curl and plank. Both sides, hop it up. Bicep curl at the top. One. One. ourselves today. We showed up. Perfect your form here. Power that weight right up your body. Elbows up. Lock squat. One. Two. Three. Four. 
You made it to your sixth round. Bicep makers. We got this. Let's go. We'll do each drop together. One thing at a time. One push up. Bicep curl. Push up. Elbows in. Bicep curl. Hop it up. Curl. That's one. makers you are done making for this whole workout you got four power clean box squats and we're out of this set this was demanding this was challenging if you can do this you can do all the things today one jumps, five sit-ups. You have to move quickly. Okay, so I'm going to move my 25s. I'm going to do my push-ups right on top of them. And I'm going to hop it up, clean and straight up, five presses. I might use my legs if I have to. I won't be mad about it. And then Drop those weight, or sorry, squats, and then drop the weight, squat jumps, sit ups. Lay your towel out. So if you're as sweaty as I am, it won't feel nice on the floor. <laughs> okay, it'll be every minute on a minute, just because we are doing an EMOM. If you do it fast enough, we should get 10 seconds rest in between each round. We have a 10 second countdown right now. Five push-ups, right into five presses, right into five squats. One, two, three, four, five. Five presses. One, two, three, four, five. Five squats. One, two, three, four, five. five squat jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Five sit ups. You got 30 seconds left if you're on pace with me. One, two, three, four, five. 15 seconds. This is marvelous. That your body can challenge itself, pushing heavy weights, pushing your body weight. One, two, three, four, five. Presses. One, two, three, four, five. Squats. One, two, three, four, five. Squat jumps. One, Two, three, four, five. Sit ups. One, two, three, four, five. Fifteen seconds. One, two, three, four, five. 
We get to do that three more times. <sighs> Modify where you need to. Get it done. One, two, three, four, five. Presses. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five. Squats. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five. Squat jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Sit ups. One, two, three, four, five. Two more rounds. We have done so much. So much already. Show up for these last two rounds and our ladder. Get ready. Two, one. One, two, three, four, five. Presses. One, two, three, four, five. Squats. One, two, three, four, five. Squat jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Sit ups. One, two, three, four, five. Final round. Take the full minute if you want, but why not challenge yourself? to beat yourself from that last round. I had 17 seconds rest that time. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Squats. One, two, three, four, five. Squat jumps. One, Two, three, four, five. Sit ups. One, two, three, four, five. 21 seconds. How fast did you go? Okay. I'll give you these last 10 seconds here to catch your breath. Our ladder starts with 14 chest presses and two competition burpees. Why are we starting at 14 and two? I did it in the Peloton workout and that's what she started at. And that was hard enough for me. So, you guys know when I come across something good and hard, you know I'm gonna share it with you. So here it is, 14 chest presses, two competition burpees. Drop two reps off, add two to competition burpees. So 12 chest presses, four competition burpees. We're gonna do that until we get to two chest presses and 14 competition burpees. I know, I know you're not happy about it, but guess what? It could have been 20 to two. So just be glad that some nice Peloton coach started at 14. And that's what you get to do on your back. We have 14 chest presses, I'm going with 25. Get those weights up safely. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Bring it down. Make sure they are out of your way. Competition burpees, chest all the way down to the mat, onto your belly, hop up, jump up. Only two. One. Two. Twelve chest presses. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You've got four competition burpees. All the way down. I know it feels like you're flopping onto the mat, but you're not. You're letting your body hit the mat and you're pressing yourself back up. Two. Three. Four. Get a little chest stretch. I know they're getting fatigued. We've got 10 chest presses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I am here with you. I feel exactly like you do right now. We've got six competition burpees. Before you're ready, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it down. Eight competition burpees. yourself off the floor. Guess what? It's getting hard for me too. Guess what? We can do it. We can do it. We only have two more rounds. We're down to four chest presses. One, two, three, four. So are you right? Don't try it. Just start letting the reps, reps add up. Just start with one. They add up quick. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. 
Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Okay. Final round of this ladder. You didn't climb all the way up and all the way down to jump off. You don't jump off the ladder. You finish it. Two chest presses. One, two. Bring it down. Get them out of your way. You're done with them for the day. I need to take off my gloves because they're so disgustingly wet. <laughs> Those have got to go in the wash. 14 competition burpees, let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Weekend workout with me. Whether it's a weekend or not, you just created all those good weekend vibes for yourself. Right here, right now. Bottle them up, take them with you, sprinkle them around for everybody else to taste. They're gonna want to know what you did to get that good. I love you all so much. I will see you at the next workout.